Welcome to Missing the Mark, where we look for meaning in strange places. I'm Christopher. Today I'm going to talk about the informal fallacy known as special pleading. As a reminder, a fallacy, or formal fallacy, is an argument in which it is possible for the premises to be true and the conclusion to be false. Informal fallacies, by contrast, are merely commonly made arguments in which the premises are not true. Special pleading is, in particular, asking to be allowed to treat two similar things as if they are dissimilar for a reason which has nothing to do with the claimed dissimilarity. An extreme example, merely for the purpose of providing a simple illustration, would be to say, I should be allowed to use a no true Scotsman argument here, because otherwise I have no argument. Whether or not the person has an argument has no bearing on whether or not the position they are trying to refute is true. By contrast, it would not be special pleading to say, I should be allowed to use a no true Scotsman argument here, because the person you're talking about has never been in Scotland, nor has he descended from anyone who has been to Scotland, nor has he even so much as met anyone who has been to Scotland. In this case, his argument for why the exception should be granted speaks directly to the difference between his case and the general rule. This is not special pleading. It is merely making a distinction, which is a legitimate thing to do, because many things which are superficially similar are, in fact, distinct. As we can see from the above highly artificial example, whether something is making a legitimate distinction, or is special pleading, turns on whether the reason given for the exception is about the exception or about something else. Now, it is possible to make an argument about the exception which is not a good argument. The failure of the argument to establish the distinction does not make the argument special pleading. It simply makes it a bad argument for the distinction. To continue the above artificial example, consider the argument, I should be able to use a no true Scotsman argument because the man's great-great-grandfather, on his mother's father's mother's side, was born in France. This is a terrible argument for why a no true Scotsman argument should be allowed here. What it is not is special pleading. It does concern the proposed distinction. Not all bad arguments are named fallacies. Most aren't. Now that we have this clear, I will give a somewhat more realistic example of special pleading. It is still artificial, however, because I want to avoid contentious issues for the sake of clarity. In my experience, completely realistic issues always get lost in the woods, because context is critical to communication, and realistic examples always devolve into arguments over the context. Better known as, what they really meant was... I was reading a story, but it lost me when it mentioned black swans. I mean, at that point, one might as well talk about wizards and winged unicorns. Uh, actually, black swans are real. N no, they're not. Uh, yes, they are. If they're real, why haven't I ever seen one? That's an argument from ignorance, which doesn't work. How else can I prove that they don't exist? I can't search every lake and stream and mountain and cave to show that there isn't one anywhere. That's special pleading. Just because you have no argument without an argument from ignorance fallacy doesn't mean that it's valid to use an argument from ignorance fallacy. You'd have to prove that you should know about them if they exist. Well, how do you know they exist then? It's common knowledge, but look, I'll pull out my smartphone and show you the Wikipedia page about them. That's an appeal to authority fallacy. No, it isn't. You readily admit that Wikipedia is mostly correct. That is, is an authority on most issues. You cited a Wikipedia page to me just the other day, and twice in the week before that, to settle an argument. I'm only asking you to be consistent with your regard for it. Anyway, I can't refute a Wikipedia page just standing here. I'd have to go to Australia and check every river and lake there to show the Wikipedia page is wrong. How does that disprove the Wikipedia page? Look, it's not my job to disprove it. You're the one claiming that black swans exist. You have to go to Australia, catch one, and bring it back to me. Why didn't you have to go out past Pluto and bring back Eris last week when you claimed to me that there was a dwarf planet past Pluto? I couldn't possibly bring an entire dwarf planet back. Besides, you'd be dead by the time I got back. Until next time, may you hit everything you aim at.